Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will learn together how to apply for visa for Austria step by step. In this video, we will be explaining the visa policy of this country, how to fill the application form, how and where to apply for the visa, all travel rules due to COVID-19, all the required documents that you will need while applying, and in the end, we'll ask you a question that we will discuss together in the comments. So make sure you watch this video till the end. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any inquiry or question, please write it down there in the comment section below first let's explain together the visa policy map of the Schengen area as a country of today is a part of the Schengen area so if you are a holder of a passport belong to any country of the Schengen area if or if you are a holder of a visa of any country in the Schengen area you have a free access to any country inside the uh, Schengen uh, area uh, and also there are some countries who can get access to Schengen area without visa for example countries of uh, all the countries of North America Austria United Arab Emirates Japan uh, Korea Malaysia and uh, many countries uh, in South America all these countries can get uh, into the Schengen area and stay there for uh, 90 days for the rest of the world speaking about all african countries and almost all uh, asian countries all these countries must obtain visa before traveling to the schengen area and some of these countries like iran iraq uh, ethiopia somalia pakistan you will need both visas for traveling to, uh, to the schengen area or even transiting inside the schengen area if we will look together so basically this is the general application form for a schengen visa let's check together uh, this form you will have first to print it and to start filling it uh, manually here in this part you'll have to write your surname and here you'll write also your surname at birth your first name whatever that uh, data that you don't know you don't have to fill uh, the date of birth the place of birth your country of uh, birth your current nationality or if you have any other uh, nationality here you will have to fill male or female your civil status if you are single married registered partnership uh, separated divorced whatever uh, status is you'll have to write then uh, the parental authorities if ca in case if you are a minor or uh, something and you uh, your legal guardian you will have to write uh, the surname and the first name of your legal guardian if you are a minor and the phone number and the email address and the nationality also here you will have to write your ID number from your national identification uh, number after that you will start with the type of your travel document in general it will be ordinary passport but you if you are a holder of any other passport like diplomatic passport you will have to write it and if you have any other travel document you will have to be you will have to specify here uh, after that you will start with the number of your travel documents the date of issue and the expiry date also it's valid until which date and it is issued by which country here if you have uh, any personal data of the family member who is in uh, european union uh, or a citizen there you can have to you you'll have to write the surname of that family member or first name of that family member and uh, the date and the date of birth of such number of uh, the nationality of such member and the identification uh, number of such member but if you don't have you don't have to fill it only fill it if you have a family member who is in the european union then the family relationship with an uh, european union uh, citizen if applicable so you have to write it if uh, applicable then you will have to write your uh, the applicants home address and email address you will have to write to write your own home address 
and your email address and your phone number uh, also uh, okay here we also you will have to write as uh, the residence in which uh, country you are applying for uh, for uh, the visa are you applying from your own country or you are applying from other country here uh, you will have also to write your current occupation what you are doing right now what kind of job you are doing right now and here you will have to give some information about your employer the employer address the phone number and if you are a student you will have to give the name and the address of your educational establishment if it is a school or a university here you will give the purpose of your journey are you traveling for tourism for business visiting family friends culture sport whatever purpose is you will have to fill it and here are some additional information on purpose of a stay you will have to give those information also if you have anything you would like to add you can just write it right here and the member state of main uh, destination and other member state of destination if applicable and member state of first entry uh, also you have to write uh, the name of such state here the number of entries requested do you want a single entry two entries multiple entries and also here this part for the finger uh, prints have your your fingerprints being collected previously for the purpose of applying for a Schengen visa you will uh, write yes or no depend, uh, uh, depending on your uh, situation the entry permit for the final country of destination where uh, where applicable if it is applicable also it will be issued by and valid from that day to that day the surname and first name of the inviting person if you have an inviting a person you will have to write his surname or first name if not applicable you will have to write the name of the hotel or the hotel or the hostel or your uh, accommodation uh, establishment where you will be staying in uh, the country in which hotel in which place uh, you will have also to give the address and the email address of the inviting person or the head or the hotel or the temporary accommodation and also you will have to give the telephone number here also you will have to give the name and address of uh, the inviting company and organization if uh, applicable also because if you are not invited by a company or organization you don't have to give any details about it and here are the surname first name uh, or of uh, of contact uh, of contact of per of any person from this company or organization here you'll give also telephone number of such person from such company or organization cost of traveling and living during uh, the, apl uh, the applicant's stay is uh, covered how are you going to cover your own stay are you going to cover it by yourself or by a sponsor if you are going to cover it by yourself you have to check this box and you have to write how by cash credit card or which mean or if someone invited you a host or company you will have to uh, fill uh, the mean of support they will provide to you uh, in the end you will have to sign to read first this declaration and after reading this declaration you will have to write the place uh, from where you are applying and the date uh, of your uh, application or filling this form and here you will have to write uh, your name and your signature or if you are a minor your legal guardian will be signing this uh, in your behalf and we have checked together how to fill this application form step by step by yourself in order to download the visa application form you can go to the visa information section over here and choose the visa type for example tourist visa and once you choose tourist visa here from download the form you can download all the visa forms from 
here easily. Speaking about the Schengen visa fees, the fees are 80 euros for adults and for children between 6 to 12 years of age, the fees are 40 euros. And of course, you can uh, transfer this amount to your local uh, currency, for example, in USD dollars, it equals to 87 now. And if you want it also in Indian rubies or in Pakistani rubies or uh, in Egyptian bound or in Indonesian rupiah or in Turkish lira. So uh, the fixed amount is the 80 uh, euros and it changes, of course, uh, depending on your country and uh, depending on the uh, exchange rate right now. So how to apply for this visa? VFS Global is the office responsible of processing and receiving applications for this visa. What you need to do is in this section, you need to choose your country where you are applying from. If you're applying from India, Pakistan, Egypt, or whatever your country is. And in this section, you need to uh, select the country you are applying for if you're applying for Austria or Belarus, uh, Bulgaria, Canada or whatever this country is and after uh, choosing your selection click here take me to the website. Once this page is open in front of you click here book now and then once again click book now and in the section you need to sign in this website and to choose uh, the place of the office inside your country and the perfect time that you need to submit all the documents for this visa. So of course due to COVID-19 there are some certain uh, rules that uh, you have uh, there are some certain things that you have to make before traveling to Austria. For example uh, there, are, there is a, a travel uh, certificate or uh, a, a travel uh, clearance that you have to fill and submit and uh, of course you need to register uh, via pre-travel clearance and also you need to uh, provide a certificate either a certificate of uh, vaccination and also uh, a vaccinate uh, a certificate of PCR test and once you get uh, inside the country you will need to quarantine for uh, almost 10 days and can be um, this quarantine can be terminated uh, on the 5th uh, day after making another uh, BCR test in the country and this is the website where you have to fill the pre-travel uh, clearance a form and submit it before traveling to Austria. So what are the travel documents that you need to prepare before applying for the visa? Speaking about your passport, your passport must be original and it must not be older than 10 years with at least 6 months of remaining validity and with at least 2 blank visa pages for the stamps. In many cases you will need also a passport photocopy. It might be one copy or more than one and it's preferred to be colored and both data page and photo page must be shown if separated. In some cases you might be required to photocopy every single page of your passport but in general only the data page and the photo page are the needed ones speaking about the personal pictures you will need at least two personal pictures sometimes only one is needed other times three pictures are needed but in general they are only two they must be new not older than six months it should be clear and show your full face and it is preferred to be with white background and you should give normal and neutral expressions no head or face covering is acceptable except for religious reasons Speaking about the visa application form, in general cases you need only one copy of the visa application form. But sometimes you might be required to submit two copies or even three. Visa forms are different from a country to another. In general cases you should print it and fill it manually. But many countries now are providing their application form in an online platform. So you can fill the application form online and after that you can print it and sign it. Anyway, for the application form you just fill it as we do in the video. In most of the visa application processes you will be required to provide a proof of status. For example, if you are an employee, you will have to provide a letter from your employer or from your HR department mentioning your name, your work detail, and your salary. And both address and contact numbers should be mentioned also in that letter. And all letters must have an original signature and a stamp. But in case you are the owner of the company or you run your own business, then your commercial registry and your tax card must be presented. But if you are a student in a school or a college, an enrollment letter should be provided from your university or your school. In some certain cases you might be applying from a country different than your own country. 
property. At that moment, you will need to provide a proof of a legal status, which is a certificate of legal residence in this country. And in some cases, a valid residence visa for this country can be also accepted. You will also need to provide a proof of sufficient funds, which is a bank statement stating your balance for at least six months. The original bank statement must show your name and should be signed and stamped by the bank representatives. And remember that cash will not be accepted as a proof of fund. You should also provide a flight reservation. It could be an initial booking, but in some minor cases, you will need to provide a confirmed booking. And remember that this flight reservation must include a return ticket. So let me show you a short tutorial in how to book your flight. And we will use this site, skyscanner.net. All right, starting with our site, this part is a little bit boring, but we will see what we can do. First, you have to select what type of a flight you want a return flight like two ways going and returning or one way flight or multi-city and let me show you an option if you would like to change the language you can change it from here you can choose your language you can choose your country you can choose your currency whatever fits you all right so assuming that you have for example a travel plan you're moving between different cities so you can choose this multi-city option you can add different cities here and you can adjust your date, date of arrival date of departure and you can book all these tickets at once which is a very great option but let's just assume you are moving from only one city to another and you want to have a return of flight going and turning back so uh, assuming you are going from istanbul of course you can choose whatever you want if it's an istanbul or surat or whatever airport it is and returning what is your uh destination where are you going you're going to delhi or you're going to uh, tbilisi or uh, or whatever georgia sorry georgia tbilisi and here you will have to choose your departure date and here you'll have to choose your return date and here you have to choose your cabin class are you going on economy class premium economy business class first class or what and you're an adult okay you have any children with you all right and here okay now you can search flights once you click search flights all the flights will appear in front of you you can choose whatever flight you want you can go with the best or the cheapest or the fastest but it's almost the same here but of course the price will change depending on the destination and also it will change depending on the date so let's click this uh, flight for example and now will appear in front of us let's check the details of this flight and for this flight you can book it from different sites you can uh, book it directly from skyscanner or you can go to any of those sites to book it but yeah we will book it from skyscanner it is the cheapest anyway let's click book but wait before booking let's see the details of each flight okay it's a direct flight from istanbul to tbilisi and it's a direct flight from tbilisi to istanbul so by clicking on these arrows you can see the details of each uh, flight let's click book and here you can see the dates okay you're going departure okay going returning and the date and now click book so once you click booking your trip appears in front of you and the total price appears in euros why because they set their prices here in euro in sky scanner so now you can see the details okay you have one cabin page you have one checked page now let's click next and see more about the details and the checkout so in the end what you need to do is to add a contact details which is an email and a phone number and after that you will have to add a traveler which is your name your middle name your last name and in the end you will have to click bay and by clicking bay you can do your payment and congratulations you booked your flight you will also need to provide a proof of accommodation it could be a confirmed hotel reservation or an invitation from a host in this country or an invitation from an organization you are visiting in this country for a hotel or hostel an initial booking is acceptable but in some minor cases you might need to provide a confirmed booking and anyway the name of your hotel must be mentioned and the address and the contact number but in case you are invited by a person either the letter of invitation should be mailed 
directly to the embassy or to be submitted by you accompanied by a copy of the passport of that inviting person there are different sites that you can use to book a hotel or a hostel but let me show you a fast tutorial how to book your hostel from booking.com so this is our site booking.com first you have to specify where are you going let's say i'm going to istanbul i want to have istanbul okay i'm traveling okay for example check in okay let's say at that date and check out let's say at that date and i want one adult one room and let's click search all right by clicking search okay there are giving me all the locations and they are giving me the price here in egyptian pound let's assume i would like to change my currency i will change my currency from here i will choose usd dollars and now the prices are here usd dollars for the full period those things in this side will help you for your choice you can filter by your budget or your popular filter or health and safety whatever interests you more star rating whatever it is but there is an interesting option here also that you can arrange all of these things depending on price if you are uh, a low budget traveling person so we can rearrange it according to price lowest first and let's see the price lowest first for the full period and you can see that we are having very good prices in somehow okay good quality also we can see also we can check for better quality okay still good price for very good quality let's check availability okay i like that one it looks old and only five beds left at this price so you are booking a bit in dormitory and one bunk bed see availability once you click see availability the whole apartment or the whole place appears in front of you you can see all the details of this place and you can here start choosing the availability like you can like change the dates and the most popular facilities here that non-smoking rooms free wi-fi 24 hours front desk terrace and heating also because sometimes istanbul gets very cold they are also giving you here some selections like for example bed in male dormitory room and you can see all the details here like okay air conditioning free wi-fi shower toilet a heating hair dryer and of course if you want any other option like comfort double or twin room or classic double or twin room or standard travel room whatever you want but let's just go for the cheapest and select only one bed you can select of course more than one bed and they give you different things like free cancellations and no prepayment needed you can pay directly at the property so if you in case you would like to cancel it they are giving you a specific time and a specific date in that date till that date you are free to you are, can cancel this booking for free just click i will reserve once you click i will reserve here you are filling your details they are giving all the booking details it is for four nights and this uh, price is 35 dollars and here you will have to enter your details all your details and bid in mail dormitory room okay you'll have to give your full name and if you have any special request or something and also here give your arrival time so you have just to review all these parts and in the end you will click final details by clicking final details you will review again all your details and you will confirm your booking once your booking is confirmed you will receive an email in your email like that stating the check-in details and the check-out detail and the duration of a stay the phone number and the address of the place and all the details and this is 
the page that you will have to print and take with you to the embassy while applying for the visa. Many countries also, especially the Schengen area countries, require you to provide a traveling insurance. And you have to be careful and to apply through the companies that are accepted officially in these countries. For example, in case for Schengen area countries, there are some certain specifications for this travel insurance. Like the insurance coverage must be at least 30,000 euros. And in general cases, you can apply for this insurance online. Now let's look together as a travel insurance company. Those are some travel insurance companies. You can use any of those websites to apply for the travel insurance. But since I know that travel insurance is a little bit confusing for most of people, I selected two companies and we will see together how to apply for travel insurance through those two companies. Applying for travel insurance is quite confusing for many people but here i selected the site europeinsurance.eu and let's see how to apply for travel insurance first you have to select your main destination in europe which is i selected france the start date the end date let's say you're just staying for one month and you want this insurance for one month and here you write your date of birth then get a quota okay so now there are two types of travel insurance the first one is basic and it costs 19 uh, the 19 euros per month and it covers more than 60 thousand euros which is required because for travel insurance you have to apply for something more than or equals to 30 thousand euros so i will select this one and here if you want to extend but just let's keep it like that for this basic one i will select it over here and now i will have to fill my details my the insured person my name and the policy holder also if it is the same person though the same also details my own details and important uh, statements just some statements and in the end you will get to the payment so this travel insurance uh, which will cover more than 60,000 euros for one month it's just only 19 euros let's check another site which is axashengen.com which is quite expensive uh, site and here they give you different periods like for Schengen low uh, cost Schengen Europe travel Schengen multi trip get a quota okay so for the prices here okay let's first you need to click get a quota over here for the cheapest one okay and here they will ask you the Schengen low cost um, they will ask you about the start date and the end date of your travel so my first date is this one all right 12 and my last date let's say will be 11th of april also for one month and this one for 31 days and it's a little bit it's not a little bit expensive it is expensive and it covers uh, only up to 30 thousand euros but you know the difference is sometimes about um the rate of the company and uh, also uh, the categories they are uh, covering in the travel insurance but here i'm just showing you how to oh, choose how how to apply because this is because choosing the category uh, the options is something depending on you but many people are just having some problems what is the travel insurance how to apply through the travel insurance so all these other details i will leave to you i'm just showing you how to apply through the site and what is the real cost uh, of the travel insurance by saying 30 thousand dollars we don't mean that you should have this balance in your bank or to prove that you have it because some people think uh, so those who are not really having experience with travel insurance then here you click continue and after you click continue you click here for the subscriptions you will have to fill all your details and after filling your details you will um, make your payment and in the end you will get a confirmation of your travel insurance and that's how you apply for travel insurance through this website